All right, guys, I'm about to do some curry veggie chunks. So I am actually going to use the Creation brand in Jamaica. So I am pouring my chunk in a baking tin. All dry and crushed, you guys. So you know you have to rehydrate it. So that's one pack. I'm going to use two pack, but you can use the amount you want, deciding on the um amount of person in your family. I'm going to use two pack there. Here I'm going to add some water, some water to it. This is one cup of water so far. I'm going to add about three more cups of water. And to add a little flavor in it by putting some cloves in it. But I'm going to use about three or four. One, two, three, four. So you know cloves add, it, add its own um, flavor to the pot. I'm also going to add some ginger because I'm going to boil this um this veggie mint so I'm cutting up some ginger in it to actually give it a buzz also I'm going to drop a head of garlic in it also so it can have its own flavor so I'm going to put it on the fire to boil for about 15 minutes and then to take it off and show you the whole process during the preparation of curry all right so I am going to add some salt to the mince in order to boil it. This is optional guys. You can add it if you want and if you don't want to add it, you can let it stay. So this is the amount of water I have in my pot and I'm about to put it on the stove now for 15 minutes as I told you before. So. I'll show you the process during the boiling as well. So guys, this is basically what it looks like. As you can see, look a bit softer now. So this is the finished boiling process. So I'm going to take off this now and have it run underneath some cold, cold water to um to get it to the temperature that I want it to season it and to start to curry it. So stay along the ride with me, alright? Cool. So this is basically cooling down, guys, we have the water running on it, so at this temperature now, the boiling process will stop, and I get it to where I want it to have it to season, to start curing. So this is what it looks like now after it's been cooled down, after being cooled down, so this is the ginger, guys, nothing but the ginger, alright, so let me show you how soft it is right now, see, I can actually tear it. See, can actually cheer, but remember now when you're cooking chunks, chunks actually absorb water. So you need to get some hand towel or you can use your hand to remove the water. Look. So you can use your hand to remove the water and pour it on a different container. So I'm actually going to use my hand to remove the water. Because if you don't do this, by the time you finish curing it, the pot is full of excess water. Pure water, no gravy, only water. All right, so I'm about to season it now, guys. Some persons just proceed with just start to curry it. So I'm not going to do mine like that. I'm actually going to treat me mine like it's actually a meat. So I'm going to add some, a little jerk season to it. A little jerk season to it. I'm going to add some garlic ginger pimento. Also going to go in with a little tube of black pepper. So remember now, you're trying to catch the flavor, so a little bit of salt as well. If, if The salt is actually optional because if you already added the seasoning in it, remember now the season have a bit of salt. So this is also a little bit of all purpose. So you know it Africa tastes like a meat. So I'm going to go in now with my curry. Gonna go in with my curry. All right, so I'm not scared of the the curry or nothing like that. So I'm actually going to go in with my hand. If you are scared of what the curry may do to your fingers, 
then you use a gloves or a spoon that you can use so i am not scared so i'm actually going to go in with my hand my bare hand so i stand through i just wash it and the curry is all gone so let me just rub it so you can see what it looks like after i rub all right so there i i feel it with myself and see too that it's actually want a little more curry so i'm going to add a little bit more but be careful when you had the curry because never too much curry can let it bitter or grainy so be careful so you just have to use your own option or your own choice and remember guys this can also brown stew as well first it's called it stew i call it brown stew due to how i prepare it so after this now i'm going to go right in my pot with it so look at this color right now right so i'm going to go in my pot now with it so you will see it so before all this i had in my um ginger garlic and um curry to my pot but couldn't catch it on camera guys because i was splashing and dashing not burning myself so i had that now to the pot and I'm going to saute a bit. So this is basically the ginger here, ginger. pepper garlic is somewhere there in the pot I'm not sure where it is but if you want me to put my hand in there and find that garlic tell me comment down below and tell me I should have put my hand in there to find that garlic all right guys so I basically had to tip a little bit of water in it as I can look to the side here you see the little bit because it was itching and I don't want it to burn so I had to tip a little bit of water in it so I'm actually going to cover my pot and leave it to have the curry and the rest of the season cook for like maybe 15 minutes and then I had my season so I'm going to show you my season that I've already went ahead and prepared so I'll show you that as well all right guys so this is my onions my season that I went ahead and prepared so this is my onions and over here I have some sweet pepper varieties of colors and over this side now i have my irish irish potatoes and right here now i have some julienne carrots so i'm going to add these to my pot after it's almost finished stewing so it can go down and i don't want them too soft i want them all to be crunchy so watch the my curry um chunks ready chunks so I'm actually going to go in now with my veggies so this is my Irish potato my onions my onions and I'm going to go in now with my sweet pepper sweet pepper guys sweet pepper and now I'm going to go with my julienne carrots Colorful, right? And you have to take your time to incorporate everything in it. Then you're going to leave this to simmer for a little while until you get the veggies at the pace that you really want it to be. Not not soft. I don't do soft veggies, so maybe if you want it soft still, that is kind of up to you. But for me, I want it crunchy. So here now. Here now, I'm, I'm going to have to add a little bit of water because there's not enough juice in the pot to cook the veggies. So I'm going to have to add a little bit of water to this. Adding the water, you add it to the side because you don't want to just pour it on whatever you're doing. So you add it to the side. So then you stir again. Turn down the stove at this point now because everything is almost cooked already. 
So you're going to just turn down the stove at this point to just allow the vegetables to sit in and just work themselves in. You know? So, veggies are almost there, so you can actually turn off the stove at this point, you know, guys, because as I said, I don't want them to be too soft. So look at this. Curry chunks. Curry chunks. Alright, we get an next spoon again. Curry chunks. Alright, so this is basically my curry chunks. So from my home to your home, wherever you are, I present to you my curry chunks. 